Six nil. Should have been 11. Wes wasn't on the pitch. I was robbed of a 10 nil win. You were. I feel. Hello, everybody. Welcome to another installment of What's He Doing? What's He Done? Here at 48 Hours, we are going to tell you who gets on the list this week. The Ahmed Hodge list has well and truly redeemed itself. Sean, we've got a lot of Sheffield United goals coming up. Stay tuned for that. Which game's up first? Brentford, Chelsea. And guess what? What? We scored first. We did score first. Can't believe it. I know, right? Who's the fault for you for the first goal? We scored first and it wasn't against the championship team. I know, right? Unbelievable. Zanka. I won't make the easy pun. Do it. Tall man getting out jumped by Nick Jackson of all people. Yeah. Just abysmal. Got to do better than that. It's nice to see Nick Jackson getting on the score sheet in open play without it having to be like a little Nick pity, Nick pity goal. So it's nice to see him just getting his head on something, putting it in. But uh, it didn't last, Sean. Did not? No, it didn't. Uh, in my head, we won 1 0. No, well, in your head, there's a lot of things that are diff different and very wrong. But in this world, De Sassi moving in slow mo for me. Just not agile enough this early in the game. Needs to keep on his man. That's, he's got to work on his agility. I just think this, he's a little bit laboursome, a little bit cumbersome sometimes. And he just doesn't really know where he's supposed to be. And when he is where he's supposed to be, he's looking around somewhere he's not supposed to be, going, I want to be over there. So. I thought that was a type of sausage. What? Cumbersome. Bringing us 2 1. Sean, bicycle kick from Whistle. Nah. What do you mean, meh? Nah. 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 It's not bicycle kick. If, if Conor Gallagher scored this, you'd be like, rah. I'd be like, oh wow, Conor Gallagher scored. Exactly. A bicycle kick. Yeah, but instead, Conor You'd Gallagher's. Be... He'd buy a shirt with Gallagher's name on. I would never do that. Gallagher. He's just got to get close enough. You know? Like, he's watching the man. I'd understand if he was like this. Yeah. But he's watching the man. He's watching the dude who's about to hit a bicycle kick. He was doing what everyone else in the stadium was doing. Watching Whistle. Smiling He was smiling. That's the cheeky part of it. On the highlights, you can clearly see him with a big old grin. He's like, oh, even though that's his man. Guy's going to score a bicycle kick in front of me. This is the best seat in the house. Yeah, you know, header him. <laughs> you know when you completely mess up, Sean? You completely mess something up and you just got to laugh. He's just like, ha ha, oh no. Like, big smile, but inside he's dying. I mean, just get near him. And the ref gives high foot. Don't know what to do. Gallagher's like A1 90% of the time, but in this game he was F. So was Palmer. He just couldn't hit if you're not door willing, with a banjo. He got man of the match. If you're not willing to get kicked in the head for the badge, don't play for my club. I'd get kicked in the head for the badge. <laughs> There's a little that man won't do for that badge. Bringing get us to two head. all. And do you know what? He's on the double. It's a double double. Zanka, what are you doing? What have you done? He can't mark De Sassi at all when he makes. De Sassi finally makes up for his mistake earlier. But here we are. Zanka, we've got many doubles now. We've got Anderson on the double. We've got Zanka on the double. We've got some more doubles coming up. Palace versus Spurs. Palace versus Spurs. And uh, let's just uh, get one thing very clear. What's that? Who's better? Eze or Elise? Eze. Eze has now eclipsed Elise. Well clear. Miles clear. We had a little thing. I was wrong. Elise, what are you doing? Yeah, what have you done? Get off of the injury list. Uh, starting off with Tottenham Palace. Vicario is in the wrong place. Uh, we don't oh. want to really want to give it to the keeper. No fault. Eze, no fault. It's top nah. corner. You can't get it, you can't get it post side. It's upper bracket though. It's not top corner, it's mid hip height. Nah, upper bracket. No, Vicario needs to be saving this, he's better than that. Well, it didn't really matter because uh, Spurs go marching on. Yes, they do. And uh, it hurts me. Doesn't it? Yo, Kim Anderson. Oh, yeah. What are you doing? What have you done? Well, what has he done? I mean, Johnson seemed to have magnets in his feet <laughs> for this little dribble movement. The ball just wouldn't leave him. Yep. And then Anderson tried to tackle him and fell over. Donut, man. He got done twice. But he slipped. Johnson is elite, though, at this point. He's nah. found his little stride. He's mid-table caller. For this next one, I mean, Tottenham kept pushing on. Werner had his goal coming, didn't he? He so. did. Ward got climbed on after Palace, just lazy in general to let Spurs back in. Tricky little throw in, but Ward has to do better. Gets climbed on. Gets on the list for me. On the list. On the list, on the list, on the list. Sean, who's up last for you for 3-1 uh, Tottenham Palace? I mean... He's double, at the double. Double. Doyle and trouble. John Terry has won the double. Who else has won a double today? Right now, Joachim Anderson. Oh, what are you doing? What have you done? Tell me. So he managed to fall over the Spurs man on the floor. Yep. Which just, that happened, and then the camera panned, and Son was one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. Yep. Son one-on-one -on -one with the keeper is... That's bad. It's not, it's not a good look for he's the keeper. He's so far out of position, but he's he's beyond the halfway line, getting dispossessed, and he's a centre-back. Well, well, he's putting a tackle, and the dude's fallen over, and then he's fallen over that dude. Well, it doesn't matter. He's still fellow. He shouldn't have been there. He's a centre back. I yeah, know, but they're doing high press. He's so dangerously out of position. He thinks he's a winger. Uh, he well, thinks he's Trent. It's Joachim Manson. He does what he wants. Get back in defence. He's a beautiful man. Still 3 1. Big game. 
And then three nil follow up. Newcastle looking like they're back on top form. Didn't wear the shirt today because I'm wearing I'm wearing just Premier League all round. England top. We've got a lot of Euros videos that are going to be coming up for Euros 2024. Stay tuned for them. 48 hours football. But we're going to keep it pushing. Newcastle Wolves. Sean, 1-0. I'll tell you who's at fault. He deflects off Dawson. Dawson is so hilariously out of position. He forgets what his defensive line is supposed to look like. You've got defensive line. Dawson over here. All right, just letting everyone through. Uh, it's him. He's, he's going on the list for me. He, he's a regular on the list, but not, not as regular as, as some. But uh, for Wolves... What are you doing? What have you done? Get on your line. What are you going to get on your line? What's that? Jose Sol. <laughs> Stay on your line. It's for some reason, he comes out eight yards when Kilman's already there. Mm -hmm. He just gets in Kilman's way. That's two goalkeepers on this list already this week. Yeah, well, the first one's unnecessary. No, the first one's completely not necessary. Not deserved. Vicario Could needs. be no fault. It's Vicario, kind of free Vicario. And Trafford's not on this list for once. Well. Uh -huh. How do you know? Because it's coming up. Yeah, but... Um, some of them goals are mine. Yeah, but you'll see. I might give them to. Jose Sar here just slaps the ball against Kilman. Can't give it to Kilman because he's probably trying to just hold it up away. Yeah, he's looked back, seen that Sar's coming, and then thought, okay, the only thing I can do here is just get out of the way. Exactly, don't want to hurt his keeper. My keeper so. can pick it up, and then my, my keeper <laughs> just punches it into my shin. <laughs> oh no. Can't blame him for that. 3 0, Livermento with a fumble goal. Ain't Nori basically just kicked this in his own net. He tried to sort of, sort of tackle him from behind ish. But he sort of like stumbled in, toe poked it through, and given Livermento his first goal for the Magpies, um, who you went to school with. I did. Sean loves up a Livermento. He was awful up front. Yeah, well, no, no, he's still awful up front now. No, he, well, he, <laughs> well, he, he was a youth prospect though, so we had to play him wherever he wanted to be. There you go. Well, not up front. Eight Nori did him a big favour here. Sean, Fulham Brighton. Spider Man himself, Adam Webb. Stir. That's, that's a good joke, that one. It's not. Yeah, he had three chances to clear the ball, and yeah, Munoz. Well, Munez. Munez. Palace have a Munoz. Munez. Fulham have a Munez. Munez. Their names are too similar. They joined yeah. the league at the same time. It's confusing. Really. Can't believe it. Yeah, he had three chances to clear it and still lost the ball to him. Yep. And then found it. I mean, you used to be worth 50 million, Adam Webster. I wouldn't pay five quid. Accurate. Bringing us to 2-0. Back on the correct side of this list, Sean. Lewis Dunk. What's he doing? What's he doing? He's not managing to stay with an inform. Yes. Always out of position. So, so far out of position. You'll see here when... Um, so you will see it here. Just never in the right place. Always trying to track back. Just can't get to it. Easy. It's almost a tapping. What's he dunk? 3-0 then. Grob. You said Pascal Gross for this one, didn't Grob. you? Grob. Yeah, it's Pascal Gross. Pascal Grob. Yeah, he got... <laughs> Grob. He just... He gets bullied off the ball, doesn't I he? I can't put that special character on my phone, so his name's just Grob. <laughs> It's a big shame. But he gets caught in possession and then just fumbles around with the ball for a bit. And when you get caught in possession by a beast, you get savaged by a beast. Yeah. And Adama Traore, very much beast. Big boy. I can't believe Brighton considered a goal to Adama Traore. It was basically a tap-in. He eats that ball 100 miles an hour. That guy is the most washed footballer of all time. Bringing us to Forest versus Liverpool. Relatively boring goal-wise game. But ultimately, Nunez getting the goal in the 99th minute. Insane, Sean back of Sean's head. Kelleher saving Liverpool many times. Easy what's he doing though. Ball is given away very clumsy at the 18 yard line but Awonini. Yeah. Awonini. Guess who? McAllister. Yeah. Can't give the ball to McAllister there. It's a mistake my G. I mean the game should have been over. Game should have been over. And the time was finished. I know but it wasn't. Because it's, it's VAR is, is designed for Jurgen Klopp this year. Liverpool. They've got to push him right to the top. No, that's right, our editor, who's a Liverpool fan. Paul. So he's probably going to put some angry emojis here, but yeah. Liverpool are going to get probably the double. If they win the Prem, they've already won the Carabao. They're not winning the Prem. They probably will win the Prem. Man City are inevitable. We'll do a revised They Prem are prediction. Iron Man. We'll see. We'll move on. Everton, West Ham. Good luck, Sean. I got it. Don't worry. He's got it. You ready, everyone? Constantinus Mavropanos. Yay! With a howler. <laughs> what did he do? Good mark. Really? But to be fair, the ball was... Insane. Yeah, it was really nice. James fast. Garner. I don't know where he's got this from. Mm. Don't know how he's garnered it. Yeah, there's a howl on Markham, but what assists? Top three assists this season for me. Yeah, it was a nice cross. Cheeky little cross. Speaking of cheeky little crosses, James Ward Prowse from the corner flag. You know he's going to deliver a perfect corner. No, 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 Why are you bored? West Ham are so boring. West Ham aren't boring. They're 1 3 1. So boring to watch. West Ham them. just, they're so hit and miss. Let's talk about bipolar FC. They're so I just boring. don't know sometimes whether to go. They're going to be the best or they're just, they're going to get relegated. I just don't know. They're going to win. They're going to lose. It's complete coin flip. And against this side, I mean, it was a great header. 
from Zuma making up for his handball earlier. But and luckily, Ariola's just on fire. Your Best favorite in goalkeeper league. in the world at the moment. No, I'm just in this league. Closest man to Zuma here, Sean, is Godfrey. He's he's the one underneath him. Godfrey. But he can't see Zuma. So and then there's no one else there. So I How can't do give you it to not the not see Zuma. Hmm? Well, I can't give it to the defensive coach, and I don't know they don't. Zuma's he's behind huge. him. Can you see that light behind you? No. Yes, I can. How? I have a reflection in my glasses. Yeah, of course you. They're that big enough. Oh, so yeah, Godfrey, he's got to go on the list. It's the first for him, but it's a shame. Okay. Yeah, no fault. Suchek, unbelievable. Liner. Even he was shocked this went in. I thought maybe, like, there's a chance someone could have done something wrong. But when you see the angle from behind the goal, yeah. that ball is moving. It's moving weird. I would have put a tenner on you blaming Pickford with his tiny arms. I would have, but the ball's moving mental. Like, it's, it's wide. That shot's off target. Yeah, that's pure Trevea Swaz. Yeah. That is an off-target shot. Jeremy Lynch would be proud of that strike. Uh, I don't like Jeremy Lynch. All right, so going from no-fault screamers to out-of-position Dan Byrne FC, Tarkovsky, what are you doing? What have you done? He's tall, he's good-looking, but he's useless as a centre-back. Good-looking. As you can see here, dangerously out of position, about 30 yards, and lets Alvarez dink it over Pickford. Maybe. Disrespecting the England keeper. Pickford got dinked. Because Tarkovsky, an English defender, is way up the pitch and it just turns the game 3 1, and that's it, it just buries Everton. Can't believe Alvarez scored. I hope Sean Dyche gave Tarkovsky a thorough spanking after this game. I hope they filmed it. All right, bringing us to Luton Villa. Sean, you are up first for this one. John Clark. What are you doing? New boy on the list. Yeah, his first start for Luton. Yeah. So he's technically debut. Come on as a sub before. Mm -hmm. And he's made the list immediately. That's not a good start to your career. Poor man. You don't want to be on this list. You don't want to be on this list. You want to be like Julian Alvarez, someone who's not on this <laughs> list. Erling Haaland, someone who's not on this list. Strikers, mostly. Oh, who else isn't on the list? Ollie Watkins loves getting on this list. Oh, yeah, Ollie Watkins <laughs> is a big fan of the list. Send me a DM. So you're saying Clark for 1-0 Villa? Getting, getting climbed on by Watkins. All right, yeah, Watkins just burying it. Man's a ladder. And Watkins also gets the second goal. This was nearly ruled off offside, but Ogbené, what are you doing? What are you doing? You're doing a Dawson. Get in your defensive line. You're keeping everyone on side. He's a like, winger. I don't even know why he's back there. He's What's supposed he to be playing? right wing and he's at left back. He's playing players. Watkins so dangerously on side and everyone else is just asleep. Keeps popping up for Luton at the moment. He was on last week. He's on this week. He's going to creep up this list. We don't want to call it the, we don't want to call it the Ogbené list. He needs to say the Ahmed Hodge list. Ogbené, the winger. Yeah. Who's on three. It's going to get to 15. <laughs> is he? Who's up next? Consa. This one's harsh because it's a bundle in the box. Yeah. Just They couldn't get the ball out. It looked like it went in, then it wasn't in. Then it looked like it was going out for a corner and then Morris kept it in. Yeah. But Consa could have got in the way of Morris, I think. I see like he attempted like an overhead clearance and Morris just nicked it off him. Yeah, I think if he just jumps in the way of Morris instead of going for the ball, yeah. goes out for a goal kick. Yeah, probably. Chilling. Or even a corner would have done, just not a goal. Yeah, don't let Morris just tap it in. Speaking of Morris tapping it in. Speaking of Morris tapping it in. Sean, what's he doing? What's he doing? Classic Morris goal. He's poaching it at the back post. He's probably done that three or four times this season. Twice. His man. Twice. Yeah, plus this. No, this done. is twice. All right. He's done it twice this season. His man. Hasn't been on this list in a while, but the last time he was on it, it was a belter of a slide he did. Went straight past, fell asleep, got sold. John McGinn, what are you doing? What have you done? Stay with Morris. You're fast. You're good. You're the captain. Show the men what to do. Don't show them that you're sleeping at the back. Letting them get 2-2, making this game tense. But a bit of buried them in the end. 3-2 Villa. Oh, boring. What are you doing? Why are you not marking Dino? You, in the, even in the highlights, I can see you look over at him and go, oh, there's Dino. <laughs> He's not going to run in at the back post. He's not he doesn't score. love a goal. It's 88th the... minute. He's he... not going to take the points off He's us. not known for scoring last-minute winners. Yes, he is. Usually from a set piece. But this time, steaming in header. Yep. Wooloo. But yeah, no. He just, he just looked at him and then did nothing to stop his run. And then turned around and Dini had scored. Yep. And he's like, oh, well, that's a shame, isn't it? Bringing it to a close. Villa genuinely on a Champions League run. Top four. Top four. Don't get fourth. Okay, Burnley-Bournemouth now. Only two goals. Regular for Burnley, Sean. What's he doing? What's he done? O'Shea, my guy. Anyone can sell you anything. Just come here, right? Even spec savers could rob you blind. You've been sold another kipper, and Cliver says thank you very much. Absolutely sleeping on the job, Sean. You've seen this. He's just gone. Wow. cliver has gone. Whoop. He's just just gone. I just. You can't get done that badly. If this was basketball, everyone would have been up on their seat. Ah. 
start screaming. You just can't do it, man. So come on. You're lucky you didn't get the second one. Sean was probably willing to give it to you, but deflected. But Sean, tell us. Okay. Come on. Oh, are you actually going to give it yep. to him? You can't. Yep. It's a deflected goal. Nah, topping off the performance of a lifetime. <laughs> Another rule, double. The rule isn't if you deflect it, you get the donut. True. It? No, it's if donut. you score an own goal or you give away Who gets a donut? <laughs> I want a donut. Give me a donut. Someone send me donuts. I'll address it. Then. Yeah, topping off the performance of a lifetime. All he had to do was not step in. Yeah. That's all he had to do. And I'm watching the highlights and I'm going, don't step in. Don't step in. Just just stand still and let him either kick it at you or he'll run into you. Yeah. He's bloody well stepped in. Stepped he? in, off balance. He's it, been able to kick it out to his it, side. He's bloody well stepped in. And then Semenya. Big move for him next Get year. Get him out of Bournemouth. Big move for him next year. Get him to Barcelona or somewhere. Yeah, but no, Semenya is a screamer. Yeah. That's what he does. Get him to Barcelona. And you're giving O'Shea the double. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah another double. Three doubles this week already. Dara O'Shea. Get back on QI or whatever you host. Mock the week. His name Dara O'Shea. That's what's Mock the name? week. Yeah, what's <laughs> Dara Brian. I genuinely thought he was. Is that not arguably Irish racism? No. <laughs> How can we race against the Irish? I'm basically Irish. All right, it's the Manchester Derby. It's red versus blue. It's United versus City. Sean, this is the one everyone was excited for this weekend. And it did not disappoint Rashford. All the rubbish that's been spoken about him in the press recently of his form, his character, his lack of friends, whatever you want to call it. But. He would have loads of friends now, all up in his DMs after scoring this absolute derby day screamer. Can you fault this goal with anybody? Yeah. I can't. It's no fault goal. No one's going on the list for this one. It's going to go down in derby history. Now, whoever invented football goals should have made them smaller. This is a belt of that. Yeah. that. This goal is the exact reason why I watch football. Just I, just, I just want to see the most shit house 30 yard screamers. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Arsenal, yeah, obviously, we'll talk about them later. Just dribble it down the wing, pass it in. Yeah. Man United, or NFC. Man United have to win games by just scoring belters now. You say win games, they lost 3-1. They did. There was a chance. But also, next goal, no fault. Mm. Really? Yeah, Foden, mate. Foden, no fault. Foden, mate. He makes the best faces when he strikes. He's pretty good at it. He's proper like, bruh, 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 bruh. But as soon as he hits it, you know that's going top bins if he's making some dodgy face. He's half decent. And earlier I said to you that Foden is better than Saka. But mm. what I've realised is they're exactly the same player. They are. You can just swap them in. Same them. amount of goal contributions this season mm -hmm. as each other. Both off mm -hmm. the right wing. One of them's got to play off the left wing. Probably Foden. He's left foot. I'd probably say Saka has more potential, but Foden is currently using a lot more of his talent at the moment. Nah, I think they're both just brilliant. Everyone's comparing them because they're both English, both right wingers. Mm. They play for two. Well, one plays for a big team, one plays for Arsenal. Yeah. <laughs> and then, and then what? Like they're both world class. So it's just a case of. Stop arguing about them, just let them both just let enjoy both brilliant. Them. Yeah. Fair enough, my man. All right, 2-1. And for me, this is this was hard for me to give because we've got a rule here that you don't like blaming the keepers if there's someone else that you could blame. But Anana has to do so much better here for don't me. Don't blame the keeper. I'm blaming the keeper. Lindelof comes across as fast as he can because he's man marking Haaland. Gets a hand to it. And it is, it's harsh, but Onana, Lindelof doesn't get a hand to it, I must yes, admit. Sir. Onana gets a hand to it, but he needs to do better. He doesn't react fast enough for me. It's so close to him. If he sticks a foot out, he saves it. It's really, really nitpicky. But And if I could give a 0.5 on the list, I would, but I can't. So he's on the list. I don't care. Get on the list. The, the next one's a lot easier. The most embarrassing one Yeah. this whole week. Amrabat, first touch, <laughs> passes straight to Haaland, who does not play for Man United. This game's over. Bye. What what makes me laugh, right, is Amrabat gets about five minutes of gameplay in about three months and immediately gives the Manchester derby to Haaland. He ain't playing again. You know what? He's like the David Blaine of football. He tricked everyone at the World Cup yeah. into thinking he was some monster CDM. Yeah. And then when Man United got in, I was like, oh my God, they've got Amrabat and Casemiro. And then you think about it, wait for it, you think about it, and you're like, oh my god, they've got Amrabat and Casemiro. Yeah. You've got one of the best centre defensive mids of all time, mm -hmm. and Amrabat, <laughs> who couldn't get a game at Fiorentina, uh, who were in Serie B. What are you doing? You don't make sense. But then, obviously, he plays six good games in a World Cup, and everyone's like, oh, he's the best midfielder in the world, he is. Yeah. He's the best midfielder in the world. No, he's not. He's average. Okay, Sean. Are you ready? The abbreviation I have is Shafars. 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 <laughs> I can't be Shafars to go for all these goals. Yeah, I can. Because 6-0. Should have been 11. Wes wasn't on the pitch. I was robbed of a 10-0 win. You were. I feel. I won it. I did. <laughs> yeah, I did. 106 points without bonuses. Ooh. Damn. Now, 
No Wes Fodringham. I, I could have cried. Garbage. Gerbich in goal instead. But he got bullied. Mm. He didn't get any any faults as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, no, no, he made three good saves. Yeah. The rest of them. He's just... definitely their number one keeper now. Where's you gone? There's not a lot that he could do. But Sean, what's he doing? What's that? Oh, he's back tied. Ahmed Hodzic is back on the lit gets megged. Straight through his legs. Ends up at Erdegaard's feet. And I wouldn't mind if he was tired. Sean's four minutes in. Yeah. I'm tired four minutes into a game. Four minutes in. <laughs> yeah. Four minutes in, Ahmed Hodzic is already up in him herself, back on his own list. Well, you know, he's now joint first. Tell me he did. Tell me he got the second one. Uh, he didn't. Bogle scored an goal. Yeah, Bogle did score an goal. And last time I checked, Bogle, you're not good enough to play for Arsenal, mate. What are you doing? <laughs> you weren't even good enough for Derby. What are get, you doing? Get out of this team. What's the rule, Sean? Scoring an goal, you, apparently you win a donut. For a fault. Fair play to you. All right. I feel bad because we take these in turns to assess, like, to assess these goals. And Sean, he's at it again. <laughs> He's at the He's double. He's at it again. He's at the double. It's Ahmed Hodzic. It's Anil Ahmed Hodzic. He he just loves getting on this list. He doesn't want to play football. He wants to sabotage Sheffield United. He likes the championship. He is slowly, just brick by brick, just on the slide, pushing them off the edge. This is unlucky, though. This is not unlucky. It's a deflection. It's, it's unlucky. His job's to get in the way, not aid the ball going in the net. No, it's like he does almost get in the way, but no. it hits him in Almost angle. good enough to be a centre-back in the Premier League. Do you know who else is almost good enough to be a centre-back? You. Not you are almost, almost good enough. enough. You could... A centre-back? You could be as responsible. I'd yeah. get ran through. Yeah. Yes, in like that Amid way. Like Amit Hodzic. Yes, in that way, I would get ran through. Amit Hodzic also gets ran through. Nah, he didn't get ran through. Centre-back in the league. Nah, he... no, I don't like it when Look you Look at the like list. That. I don't like it when it's put like that, though. No, <laughs> he's cause... responsible for the most goals. No, nah, because at least he's trying. No, because... Sean, 4 0, who's at fault? Yes, I'm at Hodge. Oh my god! I've got, I can't. I've got to go. I can't. This isn't fair. Yeah, Martinelli got lucky the first time. He's had a hat trick. Yeah, first player to hit three hat tricks. He's got a hat trick of hat trick. Isn't that going to put him on like 17 on the list? I can't wait to get this full list up. We've got a physical yes. one that's going to be stood right there that everyone can see. And every time it, someone gets a goal, we're going to mark it up, slap it on Top Gear style. Because it has to be more visceral and more visual. Because you, you need to understand. The, di the, get the chasm of difference between Hodzic and 10th place is 11 goals. Like, it's crazy. That's 11 faults. He doesn't score goals. He's got one goal this season. Yeah, but every fault is a goal that he's let yeah, in. Yeah, it's kind of. Maybe, you know. <laughs> but no, um, yeah, he gets ruined by Martinelli and then yeah. fouls him, but doesn't just foul him. Lobs him on the floor <laughs> and then complains that he got fouled. Yeah. But, you know, he's reclaimed his list. So fair play to him. Worst centre-back in the league. It's close, though. 5-0. Sean, thank God... We're having a reprieve from Anil Hammond Hodzic. Yep. Okay. Trusty, two weeks in a row. What are you doing? What have you done? You can always count on Trusty to get on this list. This is, He's working his way up. I this think. is Chris Wilder's fault, though. Why is that? For putting Trusty on Saka. Yeah. It's, well. it's the biggest mistake I've ever seen. This is worse than not playing Rodri in the Champions League final. Yeah. How did you even think Trusty was going to mark Saka? Yeah. Saka's Every time Saka got the ball, up. instead of doing the cutback, and turn, go backwards. Mm. He just ran at him and went through it. Yeah. Not even a glimpse of a chance for Trusty. Yeah, he just looks around, sees what's going on. And then obviously he's just looking around, doesn't see Declan Rice, taps it straight through. It's an easy goal for him, 18 yards. He normally scores screamers from 35, so no one cares. From one hammer to another. Yeah. Declan Rice to Gustavo Hammer, mm -hmm. who um, for some reason felt like, I'm just, I'll just go Mark Havertz, mm -hmm. even though he's already marked. Yep. By, you know, the best marker in the league. Trust it. <laughs> Clearly. Maybe Hammer went, you know what? I've I've seen the 48 hours. <laughs> I know you can't be trusted. So I'll double mark with you. And then Ben White, of all people, who, by the way, is the most tan man. In, yeah, he's, in the month. He's the brownest he white guy you've ever seen. In the month he lives in London during the most rain we've ever had <laughs> during a month. No off season. He's been training every There's week. There's no sun. And yet, most tan man I've ever I've ever seen. My guy lives in a sunbed. He must do. Dude is just orange. <laughs> He's David Dickinson's nephew. If I had to think, <laughs> if I had like to describe to you, and you had to get Ben White out of one word, yeah, I would say orange. Yeah, I wouldn't say right back Arsenal. No, orange. Orange. Oh, Ben White. <laughs> Straight up. Yeah. His English, surname's orange. White. Exactly. He's a different colour. But no, Hammer. You got drawn up, and then I mean Ben White is wide open. So. Yeah. Game over. Game over. Okay, guys, that's it for What's He Doing? What's He Doing? This week, game week 27. Stay tuned for all of the Euros games that are coming up. We're filming a lot of content. 
We're going to get out there. Sean, if you like the video, like the video. Then remember to subscribe and we'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to comment. Peace.